Um, hey, I'm Stefan. I'm a Chino developer from Lean Coders. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about ng upgrade or um, ng downgrade. Like there are two possibilities of using the upgrade module from Angular. You've got um, the upgrade way and the downgrade way, <laughs> I would say. Um, the first thing, why should I upgrade my Angular application? Well, I think a major reason is that you've got ahead of time compilation when using Angular 2 instead of just in time compilation, which, which brings you better security since the HTML templates are just placed in the JavaScript files and everything is, is um, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, so <laughs> um, <laughs> like faster rendering and reduced code and better performance since change detection um, is different in Angular 2 or above. So, like, the next step, I hope I'm not too fast, but <laughs> that's just a little step-by-step -step guide and things that I noticed when using Angular Upgrade. So, there are two um, ways of using Angular Upgrade, but I just want to say at this point that it's not actually Angular Upgrade, it's like Angular Upgrade slash static, since, since Angular Upgrade is the upgrade adapter which is deprecated, so you shouldn't use it. But the package you need to install is still Angular Upgrade. Um, so the ways is the ways you can use is upgrade module or downgrade module. What are the major differences be between these two methods? Um, in upgrade module, module, you have the same zone for Angular JS and Angular. So when change detection is triggered, it will be triggered in Angular JS and Angular 2 or above. In downgrade module, we have separate zones for Angular JS and Angular. So yeah, today I'm going to talk about um, downgrade module as I mentioned before. So why the downgrade module? Um, we have been using the upgrade module in a bigger project and we noticed that because of the fact that AngularJS and Angular has the same zone, um, it can lead to major performance problems since the change detection is triggered in both of these um, Angular applications. Um, you can also research, research the problem. You find really, really uh, many issues on this. And yeah, that's the reason why I'm talking about downgrade module today. So, yeah. So the downgrade steps are actually really simple. You just need to declare your Angular 2 or Angular 4 or 5 module for sure and its components. You need to downgrade your Angular modules and components to AngularJS after implementing them. And after that, you need to for sure refactor the components and directives from your AngularJS applications and um, move them to your new Angular 2 module to, in later steps, remove the old AngularJS modules and remove also the Angular upgrade package since it is not needed at this point anymore. Um, yeah, the implementation. For sure, you need to install Angular upgrade. That's our main package we need. And things we need from this Angular, um, Angular upgrade static is downgrade components, downgrade module, and downgrade injectable. These three mod methods for the components, for the modules, and also for the services which are used in the Angular application. So um, I will show a little example so we can uh, define our Angular 2 module like always, this is just a little snippet from a base. And after that, we need to um, provide a function which takes one extra parameter. This parameter is needed from, um, from downgrade, mo downgrade module later. And the return value is um, the value from bootstrap module. I think my, okay, I don't, yeah. Um, so what we will get here when using downgrade mo module with this function defined above, um, we will get actually Angular 1 module, which you can later use to, bo to bootstrap it and register it as Angular 1 module. So that's the first step. We have our Angular 2 um, module set up and downgraded it to Angular 1. So we can later move the components to our new module. Like it says downgrade, downgrade register. <coughs> Well, 
it's the same for the components. It's really not a complicated thing. You just need to create a component and register it as a directive with using the downgrade component function. I'm so nervous, I think my <laughs> I have like two slides left and I talked like two minutes. I don't know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's my first talk and um yeah. Um well the same for Angular services. You need um as down downgrade injectable is provided from Angular um upgrade slash static. I see I forgot to add in part here. I'm sorry for that. But as I said before, you need to uh, make sure that you import from Angular upgrade static and not from upgrade because that's the deprecated upgrade adapter. Um, yeah, that's, it's, it's really too fast and my content is too small. Um, yeah, later the next steps are like removing the Angular chess when you have finally refactored your um, Angular 1 directives and services into Angular 2 directives. Um, you can remove your old Angular JS application, you can remove Angular Upgrade and you run your Angular 2 for a 5 model, module on its own. That's uh, the simple, uh, simple um, steps on upgrading an Angular JS application. So, yeah, I'm <laughs> so sorry that it was that short. Does anybody have some? Thank you. <laughs>